Hi, John. It's, it's so cold. It's so cold right it's now. It's so cold right now. <laughs> We're at Sunfest, and John Rubin's here, so I figured I'd talk to him. Hey, I have something really funny to tell you, but I don't think you'll think it's funny. Yeah? Okay. I had somebody call me on Radio U the other day, and they hadn't been listening for a while because they moved. Yeah, yeah. And Tell me I, gave him, I gave him some information about whatever he was talking about. And then he asked me, I was like, all right, see you later. And he's like, wait, wait, one second. And I was like, what's up? He's like, hey, just curious. Is John Rubin still, like, is he still making music? I was like, yeah. And he's like, so, oh, yeah, he's still relevant? <laughs> <laughs> Gosh, there's that. Uh, how do you how do you respond to that? <laughs> well, uh, I would respond by saying that uh, relevant people. He must not be relevant because all the relevant kids know that I'm relevant. Right, you know obviously. I mean? Why well, isn't like, listening to Radio U for a while? Boy, so. I've never heard that word relevant. That's a fresh new word in Christian culture. That's a really <laughs> new, hip, exciting word. I love that. So, uh, <laughs> how's the uh, how's the music video industry? Um, uh, what's that? <laughs> <laughs> you just uh, were a part of Red's new music video. Oh, Tell yeah. me about that. You, you directed yeah, that? Well, no, you well, kind of, yeah. I mean, I was in there, you know, really making it happen, and we wanted something that was fresh, unique, and, uh, and different, and it just, like, caught people's attention. And just something that was going to so be, like, you know. Uh, absolutely was, full of it. Yeah, no, the Red, the Red video was pretty awesome. <laughs> um, what was your title? Were you the director? I don't know, man. Or? I don't know what I was. You just kind of hanging out? The problem is this. Here's the problem. I help make videos. Right. I don't know what I do. Okay. I just I saw, help make videos. When I saw, they were like, hey, check out the behind the scenes video. And I, I didn't know you had anything <laughs> to do with it. And then all of a sudden, John Rubin's up like, yeah, what, uh, you're talking about. Oh, like, yeah. what? Me, What's no, he doing me, there? me and my buddy, uh, I guess, yeah, you know, directed and... You know, we, we partnered together to make videos. Okay. And I'm realizing there are official titles, and I've yet to really figure out which <laughs> which one is mine. I feel a bit intimidated because they seem so much bigger than anything I'm actually doing. But, no, I mean, I'm definitely I'm involved. I mean, I'm partnering with him. We're, we're creating concepting right. and figuring out how to make these videos great. So How was it working with Red? Was there anything weird? Like, do they ask or have to have anything weird in the green room? Or, like, were they jerks? Or? No, what's weird is that they're not weird. Oh, okay. They're actually, like... Normal dudes. Oh, they're just these down-to-earth nice guys. Like they were amazing to hang out with. They like, always so, seem that way when I talk to them too, and I just wonder if it's because we have a camera. But like, no, I guess you like, have cameras they're too. They were some of the nice, most sincere dudes I've ever <laughs> met. But, uh, but they're not relevant. That's the problem. So my goal was to come in and help make them relevant, and I think I did a wonderful job. I, I think what I, I did. I agree. The video is very <laughs> relevant. Very. Even though the song is like a hundred years old. More with John Rubin's coming up. It's TV's Must Wanted. John, I was talking to uh, Hawk Nelson earlier, and Jason said that basically you begged him to be on the new I tour. I totally begged him. <laughs> I totally begged him. That is definitely not like, the I response am, I was hoping for. I was like, I am so desperate. <laughs> I am so desperate. Please, please, don't you remember? It's me. It's me, the dippity doer. <laughs> don't you remember? Don't you remember the dippity doer? I'm like, it's me. Come on, guys. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Look, look. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Let me, let me shoot straight with you. I've got nothing. <laughs> I got nothing. I need this, please, for my dignity. I need this. No, yeah, no, it's cool. They're, those guys are, <laughs> in all seriousness, they're, it was really nice of them to take me out. So in, in all seriousness, that's exactly how he made it sound, though. Like, he was totally ragging on you, man. And he was like, hmm. man, John Rubin. Like, yeah, she was like, please let me be on this tour. Yeah, well, what's cool is that they're going to help me become Re relevant. If that, I didn't want to say it, but thank I get you. it. Dude, that's a pretty cool tour, man. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be great, man. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm else have you been up to lately? Uh, well, let's see. What have I been up to lately? I feel like we talked like two months ago, so I'm trying to think of what's been up lately. We well, had a Best Of album come out. A Best Of album. Yeah. I'm telling you what you've been up to. John Rubin had a Best that's Of right. album That's right. I'm supposed to plug that right now. <laughs> Dude, 18 hot tracks spanning a decade, 10 years of one of Goatee's most long-standing artists. Uh, celebrated. Celebra celebrated. <laughs> now, celebrated. 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 When it comes to a best of album, do you pick the songs? No, I didn't pick them. What? You can't even pick your like. You can't even pick the songs for your best no. of album. No. All right, what song didn't make it? You were like, man, I'm bummed. This song didn't make it. Oh, I didn't, you know, a best of. At first, I wasn't, I mean, to be honest, I wasn't really, like, super excited about a best of. Uh, but then, as the, you know, as they started, you know, seeing the packaging and just seeing it come together and, and hearing some of the older tunes. And, and I, so I, I think it was a smart, it was a smart 
he did a good job. The A and R Brad did a good job putting all the songs together. I'm actually pretty pumped to have it. It's a great piece, you know, live for a lot of people who have no idea who I am and they like what they see. There's not many of those people out there. That's a very good point. Thank I'm you for saying. bringing that up. I didn't want to say that, but. I'll say it. Everybody knows who John Rubin is. Yeah, thank you. So, uh, what else is that. coming up, man? We're coming up on Christmas time, Thanksgiving soon. What yeah. do you got? What do you got planned? What do I got planned? I've got. What do I got planned? I have got a tour with Hawk Nelson, Britt Nicole, and Revive, and then uh, right. this uh, handful of dates. I'm going on a tour around the Dakotas. Really? It's a Life Light tour. You ever been to the but, Dakotas before? Uh, yeah, it's actually it's really nice up there. Sweet. It's a good time. People are great. So I'm doing this tour with a group of guys who put on this festival called Life Light and they have this tour. And so I'm doing that cool. with the Everyday Sunday and a, a DJ. And um, yeah, so yeah. That sounds we'll sweet, man. Working on a new album. Really? Getting ready to shoot some more music videos. Brainstorming with Obadiah about some really uh, good concepts. Look at that. That's right. I'll be an extra if you need it. Thanks for hanging out with me on the show yeah. today, John. Thanks, man. It's TV's Most Wanted.